Hi, this is John Feller from IBM's JSTART Emerging Technologies team. Today I'm going to demo IBM Mashup Center on Greenhouse and how you can utilize StrikeIron data widgets to create a situational application. To start our demo, let's first go to the IBM Lotus Greenhouse website. If you're not familiar with Lotus Greenhouse, simply go to the Greenhouse website at greenhouse.lotus.com and you will see several articles and tutorials for you to choose from. It's fairly easy to register and it's free. Once you sign in, you will see a selection of quick actions where you can try out several IBM products such as Lotus Same Time, Quicker, and Connections. For this demo, let's select Lotus Mashups. So a user will be presented with a blank Lotus Mashups palette. You will first want to get into edit mode. Once you are in edit mode, you will see some pull down menus which contain widgets that you can add to your Mashups palette. I'm first going to show you how you can use the StrikeIron zip code information widget within a Lotus Mashups application. I simply select the widget and drag it onto my Mashups palette. Now if I click get location information, it seems that nothing has happened. But actually the StrikeIron zip code service was called and the data is returned that contains city, state, and county that corresponds to that zip code. It's just that the viewing of the data is separated from the data retrieval widget in order to allow users to select how the data will be viewed on a page. For this example, I'd like to view the city, state, and county in a table, so I simply choose Data Viewer widget and add that to my Lotus Mashups palette. So once I add the data viewer widget to the palette, I simply select the wiring configuration option on that widget. I want to receive the data by clicking on the receive tab. I select accept JSON I want to receive that information from the zip code information widget and I select provide city data horizontal. I select done and now I'm finished. So when I type in a zip code such as 27613 and say get location information I'm returned information about that zip code, the city name, the state, and the county. So now let's try to make a more feature rich application by using yet another strike iron data widget. Within the demos toolbox category there is a census information widget, and it's based upon a strike iron service that retrieves demographic information from the U.S. Census Bureau. I take that widget and add it to my Lotus Mashups palette. This widget contains an entry field for a user to type in a zip code in order to get census information for that particular zip code. Just like the zip code information widget, I need to select how I want to display the content retrieved from the census information widget. So I'll add another display viewer widget to my application. I will select the wiring configuration setting on this data viewer widget and I will select it to receive data. Accept JSON 
and I want to accept data from the census information widget and I select um, provide census horizontal data and I simply click done and I'm finished so now when I enter a zip code in the census information widget I am returned information uh, for census data for that particular zip code total population male population female population etc I have a completed application but it doesn't work the way I want to because when I, I type in a zip code in this box I don't want to have to retype in the zip code in the census information box this problem is easily solved by wiring the input box from the first strike iron widget to the input box on the census information widget to accomplish this I select the wiring configuration panel uh, on the first widget and I say send um, the zip code information to the census information and it wants to accept that zip code information into the input box I click done so now when I type in a new uh, zip code and say get location information several things happen the uh, data viewer is returned with the city state and county the census information reflected that same zip code and then the data viewer widget retrieved the information from the census uh, widget and returns the population information for that zip code now it might be redundant to have two input fields on the screen when now I only need to put in the zip code information on the top widget so all I need to do is hide the widget um, the census information widget this widget the census widget will still be working to retrieve census data but it just won't be seen by the user of this application let me move the widgets around so that it, it looks just a little bit better so now I have a completed application I type in a new zip code it provides me with the information and uh, about the city state and county as well as census information Let me jump to a, another completed uh, screen here I'm showing another application with the same strike iron widgets along with an AccuWeather widget as well as an open map widget and this proves that the strike iron widgets can be mixed with other data source providers to create a new application I hope you can now see how easily you can build your own application using Lotus Mashup Center utilizing data supplied by strike iron web services for more information visit IBM Mashup Center website or go to the Lotus Greenhouse website at greenhouse.lotus.com if you're interested in finding out more about strike iron web services and the data it can provide for your application visit strike iron at www.strikeiron.com the IBM JSTART team has extensive experience with mashups if you are curious about how to get started with mashups or you want to know how your company can leverage mashup center visit us at www.ibm.com slash software slash jstart. Thank you.